MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor leagues. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. What up, people? Welcome back. KB Road to the Show here. We are... On a bit of a tear here, 8 of 17 in the last four games. On a heck of a roll. Just a matter of time before we get moved up. Um, we'll take a look in a minute at the player comparison chart. You can see where I stack up against the other competition here in left field for the Houston Astros. Uh, but our first at bat, weak ground ball to second base. Guy made a pretty good play on that. Not going to be mad about that one. But here we are in the outfield where sometimes things happen. Sometimes they don't happen. <laughs> this time I get over in time, make the catch. A little underhand catch. That's a little bit dangerous. If that goes by me, that's trouble right there. But you can see I'm still using dynamic difficulty up to all-star difficulty level now. Body that one, but foul. Just hooked past the foul post. I uh, Got a 2-2 count now. And smack one into left field there. Nice base hit. Opposite field. That's where good hitters hit. If you're a good hitter, you will slap the ball to the opposite field. Um, that's really how you get your batting average up. Go opposite field. Helps a ton. But here, opposite field power. No, it dies on the warning track. So I still really need to get my batting uh, my power up. But you can see i got a 20-game hitting streak now. Here we look at the player comparison chart. Right now my adjusted overall and potential is higher than everybody else in the organization that's playing left field. So there could be a chance of me going straight to the MLB. Will it happen? I don't know. Let's find out as we move ahead. Back here with our minor league pregame show, Matt Vaskersian getting you ready for first pitch in our Texas League matchup as we take a look at today's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Kevin Bull is highlighted here as he comes into this game riding an impressive 20-game hitting streak. Steve, Eric, what have you seen from him lately that's been making him successful and how long you think he... So you can see there they talk a little bit about my 20-game hitting streak, which definitely puts a lot more pressure on a dude... When you're not really thinking about the streak, that's when you continue on with that stuff. As soon as it gets in your head, that's when you start pressing, swinging at pitches you normally wouldn't swing at, doing things that you normally don't do, and it all goes straight to your head. But I uh, had a pretty decent swing on my first at bat. Unfortunately, it lines out to the fielder there, but coming up to bat here again. Should have another opportunity or two after this one as well, so I don't need to put a lot of pressure on myself let's just try to work the count get a pitch that we can handle and slap it into right field that's the way to do it so we'll see what happens here nothing nothing pitch we have a guy on first base swinging at the first pitch slap it slap it over into left field and get our base hit so we have it out of the way now the 21 game hit streak is still intact here as we uh, go opposite field. Like I said, good hitters go opposite field if you want to hit for average. And uh, that's what we try to do. But here we go. Base is loaded. Hits one into the gap. This is going to be trouble up against the wall. KB slides in easy for a dubs in the clubs. Clears the bases. Oh, but that guy's thrown out at home plate. So a two RBI double. I will take that. Hopefully I don't use up all my hits in this game. Take a walk here. That would be tragedy if uh, I'm at my last at bat trying to extend the hit streak and I get walked. <laughs> but here we go. Another dubs in the clubs. Double up the gap in between left and center field there. And uh, my second double of the game. Third hit for the game. Doing really well. Look at that. Three hits and a walk. So three for four. Several RBIs there. Perfect game. So here we go into game number 22 of our hit streak. Can we continue this hit streak against these Arkansas Travelers? It's going to be a tough game, I think. I just have that feeling. Let's see. High fastball. 
Should have laid off of that, got under it a little bit too much, and that one dies out there in the warning track. Almost had enough power to get that out. If that would have went more towards right field, we could have had a chance of getting a home run. It's been a while since we bodied one, so let's see what we can do here. Deep fly ball, was able to get into that pretty easy and make that out. The uh, pressure of getting a hit is just looming over KB's head. All that weight on his shoulders, everybody watching every at bat. Oh, and down 0 2 here. Swings through a low changeup. That's my Achilles heel. And we are now 0 for 2 with a fly on a strikeout. Coming down to the wire here, bottom of the fifth. Might have one more chance after this one. Pitches outside, and this guy just makes a spectacular catch. And as soon as that happened, I pretty much knew that this streak was going to end. I mean, you can't you can't have plays like that go against you. You just know it's not going to happen there. Have a pretty decent pitch to hit. Pulled it down the, uh, down the third base line, unfortunately, right to the third baseman. And I go 0 for 4. And the hitting streak ends 21 games strong. Not too bad. Uh, I'm not one guy that uh, makes a lot of long streaks like that but as payment for that streak maybe they were just keeping me down there because I knew the streak was going on but as soon as the streak ends I get moved up to triple a and uh you know I was I was wondering if I was going to get pushed directly to uh the show but it looks like they were going to let me come up to triple a first and uh let's have a look at our first game in triple a Matt Vaskersian back on the minor league pregame show as we move closer to first pitch tonight in the Pacific Coast League with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Kevin Bull will be our focus, and he'll join the AAA squad as an injury replacement. Not only that, but he'll be starting today as well. Yeah, he's got to look at it like he's not just merely a warm body to use off the bench. He's got to see it as an opportunity to show the organization what he can do. He might make it impossible for them to keep him down. And then you never know what can happen. Before you know it, he could be playing in the show. And that's how this business works. If you play well and help a team win, they're going to find a spot for you. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. So one thing that people dislike about the NBA 2K on the PS4 and Xbox One in my career is that it's very, very scripted, meaning everything that happens happens to everybody else that plays the game. And it seems to be very similar here in Road to the Show this year. I've talked to a lot of guys that when they first get moved up to AAA or the bigs, it's always to replace an injured player. Um... To me, that's not a huge deal, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, they don't like that it's scripted, that there's no randomness to it. I mean, obviously there's some things that are different just based on when you get that call up, um, you know, how well you're doing and who's in front of you. That timing is different, but for the most part, it's always the same. You're going to get moved up when you're ready, and then they will put that little injury bug in there for you to give you a spot to get moved up so it's almost always how it happens um and like i said a lot of people look at that hand that hand graphic is amazing but that seems to be how it happens for most people an injury happens and you get moved up and uh kb pressing there a little bit two strikeouts that game but i do get my first hit and i like that how they take the ball and bring it in for you i think that's pretty sweet dude gets his hundredth strikeout KB obliges, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. KB moving up to AAA, so we'll start seeing some more AAA action here pretty soon. And I, th I don't think it's going to be too long before KB gets moved up to the big, so stay tuned for that. Uh, live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. Push. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 